Hey, it's me, Andy from potatoesandpearls.com. And if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I like to use my Instant Pot Blender to make things a little more easier in the kitchen. So in this video, I am gonna show you how I make my potato leek soup in the Instant Pot Blender. I'm gonna be adding this to my Instant Pot Blender playlist that I have on this channel. I'll link it down in the description. This recipe does involve a little bit of the stove, but I promise it's easy. Let's get into it right after this. Okay, so the first thing that we start with is three tablespoons of, I use unsalted butter because I like to be able to manually control the amount of salt that is in my meal. So three tablespoons unsalted butter. You can use salted if you want to though, I, personal preference. The next thing that we're gonna add into the skillet is one to two garlic cloves. This is actually one garlic clove, but it was a really large clove. So I would say about one to two, depending on the level of garlic you want. And I like to put in one jalapeno. It just gives it like a little bit of an extra kick. It's not something that's like, woo, it's spicy. It just gives a little extra oomph to the soup, a little extra flavor. So you wanna get those sauteed in the pan. I also add a half of a yellow onion. You can use white onion, you can use whatever onion you prefer, but I do like to use yellow onion in this soup. Yellow onion has a less aggressive flavor, <laughs> so it it's nice and mild and gives a good flavor to the soup. And then we're gonna add in one large leek. Now you could do like two medium-sized leeks or however you wanna do that, but it's just normally it's just easier to get like a huge leek and cut it up. And you wanna make sure that you discard the root and the uh, big, the dark green part at the top. You will know that this is cooked down to where you want it when your pieces of leek start to look more like noodles instead of crispy seeds when you first cut it. So I just like to get it where everything is like, you start getting that translucent color on the onions. Your leeks are very flexible, noodle, like a noodle consistency. And then you're gonna go ahead and take this off the stove and we're gonna get ready to add everything into the blender. Okay, so we are going to start with two large potatoes into the blender. I am using yellow potatoes, but you can use whatever potato that you prefer. And those are just chopped up into little small pieces. You're gonna add in two cups of chicken broth. Once again, I use low sodium chicken broth, but you can put in whatever you want. I just like to be in control of the sodium that is in my food. Next, we are going to add in one fourth cup of heavy cream. You could put in a little more if you want to, like it doesn't have to be exactly one fourth cup, but you don't wanna dump a whole bunch of cream in there, so one fourth, perfect amount. Next, we are going to add into this our sauteed blend. So it's the leeks and the onions, a jalapeno, the garlic, the butter that's absorbed into that, we're gonna go ahead and dump all of that into the blender. Mm -hmm. 
On your Instant Pot blender, you are going to click setting two under soups. That is for your more creamy soups. Uh, if you're looking for a soup where everything is blended together into just creamy soup, uh, no lumps or bumps or chunks. So I've gone ahead and done that and the blender grow or it climbs up to 100 degrees. So you're gonna start to see boiling in the pot. It does make a blender noise to stir up the ingredients, but for the first part of this, it's going to just be climbing up to 100 degrees and getting the soup cooking. If you're not familiar how the Instant Pot blender works or Instant Pots period, it gets up to its desired temperature, which was 100 degrees, and then it does a countdown from those 22 minutes that it showed in the beginning. During that time, it blends the soup and it's still cooking, but that's when it really gets into action to blend all of the pieces and you end up with this beautiful creamy soup. Uh, no lumps, no bumps, and no chunks. This is literally my favorite way to make soup. An immersion blender is cool, but you have to stand over the stove where with the Instant Pot blender, I can let it cook and blend and I can literally walk away, do something else, and come back to perfectly made soup. You can add chives or anything else you like to top on your soup. I put on a little bit of parsley just to be fancy and it just it's delicious you could add croutons you can add whatever you want i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you are interested in food videos a little bit of travel when we can travel don't forget to click that subscribe button it really helps me out it really helps the channel out once again i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye